What's going on, YouTube family? It's your boy, Coop Got Kicks. I'm finally back with another video. As y'all can see, I'm at home. I'm not at school right now, so things have been a little different for me. Uh, but yeah, we just had Thanksgiving. I hope y'all enjoyed. I know I definitely enjoyed you know, just spending time with family. Just trying to enjoy the break. Um, I've been trying some new things. I actually wanted to talk to y'all about that. So I just started investing on Robinhood, the app. I'm gonna leave my link down below just in case y'all are interested. It's just an investing app where you can invest in stocks. Um, I'm still learning, I'm still new to it, but if you click my link and you sign up, you get a free stock and then I'll get a free stock as well. So if y'all wanna do that or if you're interested, just click that link. If you have any questions, you can hit me in my socials. Um, but yeah, it's just been a whole lot going on during this break. I've just been trying to do my thing, relax, enjoy myself before I go back and finish out the, the semester and finish these finals. Um, but yeah, hope y'all staying blessed. Hope y'all staying safe. But you already know what time it is. You already know why we're here. We got these bad boys right here. As y'all can see, we got a crazy box. Nothing like we used to see. Man, it feels so weird like sitting down away from the camera, but I'm, I'm gonna end up changing the setup a little bit when I come back from uh, finishing my finals. I'll probably mess around with it a little bit. We'll see what we can do. But yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned for the whole video. We're gonna throw in some B-roll in here. Uh, we're gonna have some good shots. And I got something for y'all at the end of the video. I'm gonna ask a question. I need y'all's input on a few things just because I wanna see, you know, like I have a video idea, but I wanna see if y'all are actually interested in it. Because if not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna make the video. Um, but as y'all can see, I'm gonna read it and then show y'all because I don't have my glasses on. I'm blind as a bat. And if I go all the way up there and try to read it, it ain't gonna work. Now we have Air Jordan 11 Retro, size 10 and a half. Retail 220, colorway black, multicolor, multicolor. So you already know what these are. These are the Jubilee 11s. Focus. I'm going to let y'all see that. But let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, as you can see, the box is very different than the normal 11 boxes or even any of the 11 boxes. Even the breads that we had seen in December of last year. So it's real different. Um, as y'all can see, Nike had sent over a damaged box. It is what it is. Um, like I like I said, size 10 and a half. This is not a personal pair. These are my boy Jose's. Um, you know, I wish they sent my boy a better box, but it is what it is. We can't do nothing about it. But yeah, like I was saying, this is a different box, so it does open up differently. There's a flap right here that you have to take out like this, and then it folds open. Uh, then there's another one. So a gray one silver i'm gonna be saying gray silver metallic there's just a whole lot of gray going on uh we have some papers similar to the what did i do in my last video jordan one midnight Navies with the dates with the years on there with the jump man logos it says 1995 to 2020 i'll explain that as we go through the video but let's go ahead and get into the shoes as y'all can see, we have a Jordan 11. I'm not even sure if I got that in the camera, so I'm gonna do it again. Bow. But um, we have an Air Jordan 11 right here. These joints is super clean. Like I said, these are not personal, so you know, as I'm looking at them, I'm probably gonna cop me a pair. But yeah, like I was saying, I was gonna give details on the on this paper right here. Uh, it says 1995, 2020 because this is actually the 25th anniversary. Uh, I guess you could call it a celebration for the Air Jordan 11. Um, wait, 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 they're called wait, wait, the Jubilees. I think something about like the Jubilee being the celebration of, you know, some kind of years, 25 years, 50 years, whatever. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Something interesting, you know, about the sneaker that y'all might not have known. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the details of the shoes. We have the outsole. We have a gray, you know, the gray little jumps right here with like a milky sole. Not necessarily sure what y'all want to call that. Y'all let me know. With a white jump man on the bottom. And then you have your carbon fiber plate. Looks a little nice, you know what I'm saying? And then you have your good old patent leather. You can never go wrong with that. I believe this is high cut. Um, they don't always, you know, have the 11s like this. Back in the day, they definitely weren't this high. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. I don't really mind. I think it looks good. I'm a big fan of patent leather, as y'all know. Um, I actually got a question. Let me know if y'all think these look anything like the Space Jams because that's the shoe that I keep seeing. Um, y'all let me know if I'm tripping. We have a metallic silver gray, whatever y'all want to call it, jump man right here. And then we have the good old 23 on the back. 
Um, something that stands out to me is the fact that this is not like stitched in. This is like a plastic uh, material right here. I've never had it like that, so I guess I, you know, I can't really tell you like what the difference is between that and the stitch version, but it looks pretty dope to me. Um, I, I think I would prefer the stitch version, but you know, maybe that's just me. Uh, and then you have Jordan going up the side. Let me show y'all a little bit so y'all can see what I'm talking about. It says Jordan up the side. I think that's pretty dope. Um, throwing it back to the, you know, the good old days. I guess not for me, but you know, for people like my parents and you know, the older people, not old, but older people. I think it's pretty dope. I like it. I wouldn't mind if they threw it on some more 11s that they come out with later in the future. Um, oh yeah. Cool Gray 11s drop next year. Um, I'll probably drop a video about those pretty soon. Hopefully I can cop those next year, but that, that was just a little a little something just to give y'all an idea of what's coming. Uh, right here on the tongue, we have, I can't tell if y'all can see that. Uh, it's kind of like a rubbery, I guess stripe you can call it. Uh, you have a silver jump man and it says Jordan across it. It's pretty tough, pretty cool. Um, I actually like this material right here it's just mesh but i like the fact that like i feel like this sneaker right here it's not going to look worn or old as you wear it um you know like when it's white or any other color really it just yellows right here and it just it just looks it looks terrible i ain't gonna lie um i think it's a pretty dope sneaker you definitely can't go wrong with an all black 11 or any shoe really in general y'all let me know how y'all feel about 11s do y'all like wearing them or do y'all just like collecting them or you know, maybe like a trophy item, y'all let me know. And then on the insole, not sure if y'all can see that. Y'all probably can't. Uh, there's a 25 on the inside instead of the 23 that's on the back because like I said, 25th anniversary. It's a black insole with a silver gray metallic, all three, whichever you want to call it, the Jumpman and the 25 on the inside. But overall, wait, 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 this is a pretty dope sneaker. Y'all let me know what y'all think about them down below. I am gonna throw in some B-roll, so y'all let me know how y'all feel about the B-roll, what y'all think about that. But yeah, that's it for this shoe right here. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm definitely gonna try to cop me a personal pair. I think these are fire. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna bring y'all the B-roll, and then a quick little conversation after the B-roll in three, two, y'all that's it for the b-roll i hope y'all enjoyed y'all let me know what y'all think about this sneaker but that does lead me to the next topic of conversation um so as y'all know this is a sneaker youtube channel y'all already know this um it's always going to be a sneaker youtube channel i just recently though i copped the xbox series x i wanted to know if y'all wanted to see a review on that or an unboxing or anything y'all just let me know what y'all think about that idea I wasn't necessarily sure like where I wanted to take it, but it's a big purchase for me. So, you know, I was thinking maybe I could bring that to the channel just to show y'all what it's like. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Um, but yeah, big things coming on the way for sneakers in 2021. We're almost at the end of 2020. It's been a long year. Um, I've actually been building my sneaker collection, I think for a year now, maybe not a whole year, but either in a couple weeks or maybe I already passed it, but. I do remember I started building my collection sometime in November, December. So it's been a year of me building my collection. It's been a long journey. Um, I'm definitely enjoying it. I appreciate y'all for sticking with me so far. Uh, just keep sticking with me. We're going to just keep growing this channel. Currently, we're at like 340 something subscribers. We're on the road to 400. So you already know what time it is. If you're new, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can get notifications when I drop videos. And please, please smash that like button. The like button gets me put into recommendation sections for, you know, other people that are searching through videos and stuff like that. So make sure y'all look out for me. Show some love in the comments. Drop fire emojis. Drop Jordan 11. Say whatever you would like in the comments. That, that helps out with the algorithm as well. So 
Make sure y'all just show love. Let me know what y'all think about these again. Let me show y'all the other pair. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about these again. Uh, like I said, I'm definitely gonna try to cop these. I'm not pressed to cop them. Definitely not like anything crazy. I wouldn't put these over a lot of the, you know, original colorways, but y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm definitely gonna cop. You can rock these with, you know, whatever. And you already know that's always a plus for me. If I can put it with the fits, I can go crazy. Um, but yeah, that's it for these. I hope y'all enjoyed. You already know what time it is. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay safe. Much love and peace. <laughs>